Good morning, good afternoon and good evening to all Denarians on the go and in the know. Like subscribe, and share with your fellow Denarian friends. To help support our channel we now accept tips using the blockchain based Brave Browser and BAT tokens. It makes a huge difference and is very much appreciated. To those of you that made a contribution, I sincerely thank you very much. If you have not done so yet, pick up your free trial copy of the Currency Exchange Planner and check out the awesome new Currency Exchange Planner Companion, voted the number one exchange planner in the Denar community for a reason. Both the links to the powerful secure blockchain Brave browser as well as the Currency Exchange Planner are in the description box below this video. First article of interest for today. To avoid corona. Calls for sterilization of banknotes in Iraq. A member of the Iraqi Economic Council, Ghadir al adder called on Wednesday to start precautionary measures on the Iraqi foreign currency to prevent the transmission of the coronavirus. The People's Bank of China has subjected sterilization and quarantine bank notes to fight the coronavirus, al adder said in a statement. al adder pointed out that, the Iraqi Central Bank and Iraqi banks work using ultraviolet radiation or very high temperatures to sterilize bank notes before isolating them for a period ranging between 7 and 14 days to prevent the spread of the coronavirus through banknotes. And the member of the Economic Council said, the relevant authorities must maintain the safety and health of the users of cash flow in Iraq. Next article of interest. Arab Monetary launches a platform, Structures, for financial settlements. The Arab Monetary Fund launched the, Beni, platform for payments which culminates in efforts made in the past period in cooperation with central and commercial banks and global and regional financial institutions. The Director General of the Board of Directors of the Arab Monetary Fund, Dr. Abdul Rahman bin Abdullah al-Hamidi, stressed the importance of the strategic platform in encouraging and developing activities in financial, investment and commercial inter-Arab exchanges and linking with the main trading partners of the Arab countries. He expressed his hope that the platform will contribute to the service of financial integration and help in providing an encouraging environment for the development of financial and banking services and products. The Bani platform represents a multi-currency payment platform that provides clearing and settlement services in Arab currencies and international currencies that meet the eligibility requirements for clearing and settling inter-Arab financial transactions and financial transactions between Arab countries. In the past period, the fund announced the inclusion of both the dollar and the euro, as well as the Bahraini and Jordanian dinars and the Emirati Dirham as settlement currencies used on the platform. The platform aims to enable financial and banking institutions in the Arab region, including central and commercial banks to send and receive interpayments across the Arab region and beyond in a safe and reliable manner at an appropriate cost and high effectiveness. The platform provides the participants with modern payment solutions that are in line with international standards, principles and international compliance requirements, and the launch of the platform constitutes an important step towards enhancing economic and financial integration opportunities in the Arab region and supporting investment links with the trading partners of Arab countries on various continents. It is worth noting that the launch of the Beni platform, which constitutes an important development in the Arab financial markets, coincides with the start of the process of enrolling the first participants in it from the leading commercial banks that have been cooperated with it to be one of the pioneers of the platform users that the first payment process between the Arab banks be settled in the coming days. al Humaidi also praised the efforts of the central bankers and Arab monetary institutions, the fund's board of governors and its board of directors for their support for the fund's efforts to establish the platform noting the great facilities provided by the authorities in the United Arab Emirates, the country of the headquarters of the Arab Monetary Fund, in this regard. He also thanked the group of coordinators from the central banks and Arab monetary institutions and the group of experts from the international financial institutions for their continuous cooperation during the implementation phase. Next article of interest. Al-Kabi. 
the vote to give confidence to the Alawi government will be public. Hassan al Kabi, the first Deputy Speaker of Parliament, confirmed that tomorrow's special session devoted to granting confidence to the government of Muhammad Tafiq Alawi will be public. al Kabi said in a press statement, sending the government curriculum and gifts for the candidates in the ministerial cabinet before the session to give confidence to the new government, noting that this is happening for the first time in the history of Iraqi governments. al Kabi added that, all members of the House of Representatives were briefed on the biographies of the candidates, explaining that, the committee formed under his chairmanship discussed the government curriculum and expressed its observations and recommendations to the designated president who on his part expressed his willingness to include and adhere to it within the ministerial curriculum of his government. al Kabi described the parliament session to be held on Thursday as 100% democratic, noting that the vote will be public to inform the Iraqi people about their representatives in choosing their cabinet, and the voting options will be completely free. al Kabi expressed his hope that the designated president and his government after obtaining the confidence of the parliament, will pledge to restore the prestige of the state and the democratic system, achieve the demands of the Iraqi people, and proceed with early and fair elections. Next article of interest. Iraq set to sign Baghdad Metro deal with Alstom and Hyundai. OPEC member Iraq will sign the elevated Baghdad Metro project with France's transport giant Alstom and Hyundai of South Korea in the next few days. An Iraqi official was quoted on Wednesday as saying, Phase 1 of the project will cost around 3 trillion Iraqi dinars, $2.5 billion, and it involves the construction of 21-kilometer rail and 14 stations, Baghdad's governor Mohammad al said, quoted by the official Iraqi daily al Sabah. He said Iraq would fund 15% of the project's costs while the rest would be financed through an oil for project fund created by Iraq and China in 2019. The Baghdad Metro project will be executed in stages, the first of which will be launched soon as it was included in the 2020 budget, he said. Who are now preparing the contracts for phase one and will shortly start negotiations with Alstom and Hyundai for signing the contract in the next few days. In 2013, Alstom signed a $40 million agreement with Iraq for phase one of the Baghdad Metro project that has been on the cards for many years. The Baghdad Metro, which is designed to ease traffic congestion in the capital, has been held up because of Iraq's cash shortages caused by internal hostilities and weak oil prices. Hit the like and subscribe button to be alerted as more articles of interest are posted. Check out the Denarian blog, Facebook and Twitter for all of today's articles of interest. Pick up your free trial copy of the newly upgraded Currency Exchange Planner and check out the new Currency Exchange Planner companion before you leave. Use the promo code the denarian, and get 25% off at checkout when you decide to unleash the full planner's abilities, along with the mobile application added free for being my subscriber. Register today as an affiliate with the Gold Savings Carrot Bar program. If you do not keep your savings in a real asset like gold, you risk everything as the fiat system fails and they boot up the new quantum financial system on the blockchain. Protect your family's wealth today in physical gold, as tomorrow may be too late. The program is made so everyone can afford to save in gold, by offering it one gram at a time. Start saving in a real true asset like gold, it's free to register and secure your family's savings tomorrow. Why do you think all the central banks are loading up on gold lately, and running from the current depreciating fiat US dollar? Do you think they do not know what is coming? Get yourself protected. Both of the links to these invaluable programs are available in the description box below this video. Go check them out. Knowledge is power. Using that newfound knowledge is powerful. Over and out, for now, the Dinarian.